man i appreciate i appreciate how like positive and problem solving you are yeah dude thank you i try you know (laughs) it's no stress man there is no stress in life dude like it's not worth it especially not something like this anyways um I appreciate okay, that. Cool. that made me smile. If you can't tell that you said that, I appreciate that. Cause I really, I I'm proud of that. And I try my best to like, not let anything phase me like cool and collected, like regardless of any situation. And uh, that's kind of how families need to respond, right? Like we're all in this together, you know, we're family, mother, father, you know, yeah. kids, children, dogs. And it's just, it's important for all of us to remain positive. I know myself at, you know, at times our family, we have our struggles, we have our challenges, we have our fights, especially now, 2021, 2022, there's a lot going on in the world that, you know, maybe my, my mom and I don't agree on. And and there are things that we don't agree on. And unfortunately, sometimes I might talk too much, right? And maybe I speak to myself. (laughs) But um, when it comes to like family, at the end of the day, that's all we got, right? That's who we're with forever. And uh, we got to be grateful for our family. And we got to make sure we invest in our family. And uh, one thing I've been doing recently, actually, quick, quick anecdote. I've been writing handwritten letters to all my friends on their birthdays this year. That's and, awesome. uh, you know, it, it's, it's great when it's a friend's birthday and they're texting me instead of me texting them saying, I got the letter. Thank you so much. On their birthday, they're texting me, right? And, and the reason why I, I started doing it more so, and I have a long list of people I'm writing letters to, is because last year I wrote a letter to a good friend of mine. And when I went to his house to visit him, the letter was on his fridge. And wow. the letter I wrote was on his fridge. And I said, dude, I was like, I cannot believe you're putting that on your fridge. Thank you so much. He goes, no, I really appreciate it. You don't know how many people see that letter and say, wow, that must be a really good friend. I was like, wow, other people are seeing my letter that I wrote to you on your fridge um, and you know, friends, friends are family too. And, and that's why I think what you guys are doing at Loam is, is so valuable and it, it's truly investing in your relationships. It's investing in your family and, um, you know, Loam makes that seamless and frictionless. So what are some more of the problems and, and that, that Loam solves and where do you think most people are going to get the most value from using Loam? Can I ask you a quick question though? Uh, so, so you have, you write these letters. How do you remember uh, and how do you keep track of who am I going to write to and when's it coming up? I have a list that's taped to my uh, cabinet and in my, I have this one bedroom condo. It's really small, but there's like a nook in my kitchen that I keep envelopes, stamps, and my list of everyone's birthday. And uh, I kind of just do it from there, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming that there's a way easier way to get that done, huh? Well, I mean, you could use technology, right? You could set a calendar reminder and it could ping you X number of days in advance uh, and that sort of thing. But you've you've developed a system, right? And I think that's like whatever works for somebody, that's the most important thing. But what I love about what you're doing is what's so rare in our society today is those moments of presence and attention. And I think what a handwritten note is, is... I'm giving my attention to doing something for this person, to thinking about this person much more so than just some rote letter or, you know, some like kind of uh, template that's in some system I have. So I I, I just, happy birthday dude, like just a quick, yeah, which which like, yeah. Yeah. It it auto completes, right? It it, like you write HBD and it just auto completes, which is awesome on the one hand and then sends like the little confetti (laughs) here. And that's cool. But I think uh, that's, I think that's really what we're trying to capture is we're trying to, how do you, everyone wants that, right? People want to show up for their friends, but you get paralyzed, you struggle and, and you want the same thing as a parent. We really struggle as parents, I, I struggle, you know, I'm trying to build a company. I'm worried about all these things. It is so, so hard to set it aside and actually sit there with my kid, even just for 15 minutes. And, and yet when I do that, the fruit of that time is amazing. We laugh, we enjoy it. He, he'll say, he or she will say something or they'll just really, you could tell like they're just enjoying being together but when i'm on my device with a computer phone or even sometimes i'm just thinking about it and it's an incredibly unhealthy space and so i think what loam tries to do is nudge people in a direction so 
you know, you're asking what problem we, at the beginning of the week, everyone is looking at the week going, gosh, there's so much to get done. How do we, well, Loam hopes to be a place that families, parents get together at the beginning of the week and say, these are the most important things that need to happen. And then these are the things we'd like to see happen. I'd love to have a family meeting. I'd love to have a family dinner where like no devices, we just sit down. My family tries to do that once a week. I know other families do it like every night, but it's hard enough. My wife's an executive and, uh, you know, this is not an easy thing to get that time. And so we try and say, no, this is really important. We're home at X amount, of, you know, we're home at X time. We're all there. There's no devices at the table. And it's really funny because like my three-year-old would be like, dad, you have your phone at the table, you know, and I brought it because there was some, we wanted to look something up or whatever, but then next thing I know, I'm scrolling something right. and looking at email, you know, so it capturing those intentions, capturing those hopes and dreams, putting those in first, and then layering in the coordination that naturally has to happen. We drive our kids to school. And, and so it's like, who's going to drive this day? I got this meeting. I got this. So you, you have to kind of talk through that stuff. Otherwise it's the morning and you're like, Oh no, I gotta, I gotta go to this meeting and you gotta go to that meeting. And th they got two different schools they gotta go to. And so that's the problem is family life is complex. We help you uh, in a thoughtful place, do it. But then the opportunity is to layer in those moments of intentionality. So we have an inspiration bank that, that suggests things It nudges you towards, um, you know, healthy conversation topics that you might have when you're in a car with your kid, or you might do over a family dinner. We nudge towards fun activities you could do. Uh, if you have a few hours on a Saturday afternoon, it helps you overcome that paralysis, even just meal, meal ideas, just simple weeknight meals. Uh, we layer all that in to help you kind of be the, be when you are present to make the most of the time and focus your energy and attention. Right. If you're going to be there, be there. Right. Yes. Yeah. And that, I mean, hardest thing. It's the hardest thing. I mean, being mindful and present in the moment is so simple yet so difficult. And uh, meditation practice, I talk about it all the time, has been it's so incredible and it's helped me in so many various ways. But definitely with that mindfulness and uh, you know, really just creating systems around your day to help you be there when you need to be there. Like when you're at work, you're working. When you're at the dinner table, you're eating your dinner with your family. When you're spending time with your family, that's what you're actually doing. And it seems like Loam is going to be a great way for people to keep the most important thing, the most important thing, because that's the most important we thing. We hope so. And when, when we're with our family, we, we're with yeah. our family. Yeah, as, essentialism, as I'm sure you've heard, it's like, it's either essential or it's non-essential. And, you know, Loam is kind of the, the guidebook. It's the Bible of like, hey, what's essential this week? Right. So that, that is, that is really good. Definitely solving a lot of problems. And uh, if, if someone's listening today and they want to check Loam out, they would go to withloam.com. Is that correct? That's correct. Withloam.com. And if specifically, you know, for your listeners, you go withloam.com slash Zach. Um, we also have Instagram at withloam where we put out some content similar to like this conversation, helping families if you don't want to sign up right now. But yeah, it's a, it's a SaaS uh, offering. So we're a subscription, monthly subscription, it's $6 a month. It's pretty, pretty affordable yeah. in this day and age. And yeah, so you can come check us out. And if anybody wants to email me, uh, if they have any ideas, questions, thoughts, uh, my email is Riley at withloan.com. It's R E I L L Y. Awesome. And uh, to all the people that are listening on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, you can head over to withloam.com slash Zach. That's W-I-T-H-L-O-M-E dot com slash Zach. To all the people that are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for sticking around to the very end. I'm going to drop Riley's email below so you can go ahead and email him if you have any questions. Um, Riley, thank you so much for your time today. This is a really cool concept. I'm looking forward to getting uh, more knowledgeable and, and messing around with Loma a little bit. Uh, even though I'm a single guy, I'm sure that my mother would really appreciate me going out of my way and being intentional about kind of bringing the family back together. I have a 18 year old little brother and he's always working or at, with his friends. And, you know, I'm an entrepreneur like yourself. I'm either, you know, coaching clients, recording podcasts, posting stuff, working out, hanging out. And, um, 
I think this is going to be good for our family. So I want to thank you so much. And um, is there any last word you want to leave the audience with today? Your attention is a precious, precious resource. Be thoughtful about how you spend it. Yeah, very, very smart. And actually, uh, one more thing before we close. Uh, right before we got on this podcast, Riley and I were talking about um, – Man, I just lost my train of thought. We were talking about um, – why had I lose my train of thought? Oh, we were talking about technology and how technology is helpful. Technology is great when you use it in the right way to help better your life and make hard things easier, right? But technology can also become a master and you can become its slave. Uh, you know, the average person picks up their phone 75 times a day. We are incessantly checking our email and Instagram and social media. And, and for me, it's my brokerage account that I'm checking out. Like, well, why am I checking it four times a day? This is, there's, there's no, there's no point. Um, and I think that uh, we have to be more intentional and mindful about, you know, looking at our phones so much because we are becoming these like AI robots that are just glued to our devices. So I know that Loam is definitely going to help me out with that. What do you think, Riley? Absolutely. You want to capture your intentions, not you don't let your intentions be dictated to you. Uh, put your intention out there and then make make practices that help you achieve those intentions. Absolutely. And then when you're intentional about your intentions, do it mindfully. Absolutely. <laughs> Riley, thank you so much again. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it.